My name's Scott Nolan, I'm a battalion chief of the Winston Salem Fire Department, North Carolina. Uh, we're up here at Suffolk today to uh, do our final inspection of our newest uh, fire engine. One thing different about this one uh, than any other that we've ordered is uh, we're making our way to the clean cab concept due to some of the cancer studies that's, that's been involved and been going on over the last few years. Anything that we could do to help our employees out to reduce the risk of cancer. Uh, first of all, we got just the, the engine here. The city wants to sail on my logo. Uh, the drivers uh, compartment. Everything's manageable. We have our camera system up top to where the driver, when he's uh, driving down the road, he can look straight up instead of having to look to the right uh, to view the cameras. We have a camera on the back and a camera on the right side of the of the apparatus. We do have the 73 inch cab that Suffin offers. Uh, it has the new clean cab non permeable interior design where it's easy to clean, easy to maintain after a fire. You get in and out, you get uh, trash and so forth. Then it's easy to maintain, easy to clean, get it ready for the next. Also, with this particular one, the 73 inch cab allows us to have some uh, transverse storage. And we decided on this one. On both sides, and we'll see when we get to the other side. But on this one, it pulls out. This will be where the uh, the driver's air pack will be, and any other types of equipment that we'll use, uh, medical equipment, AEDs, suction units, and things like that, can be stored here in this this compartment. We'll have one on the other side that we'll, we'll look at. Also in the cab, it's all Firecom wireless headsets. Uh, what we found to benefit us on the wireless portion of it is especially when you get out in the area having to maneuver the vehicle, the driver and the uh, fellow firefighters and officers can be in communications in regard to the maneuverability of the vehicle itself. Uh, the Hill 1500 gallons a minute pump uh, seems to be adequate for us in the city of Winston Salem, what we try to do. We also we have two it's a three quarter cross lays and two and a half inch cross lays just to give us some options uh, of different types of incidents and, and scenarios that we may face. Uh, first compartment here. On this compartment here, there'll be a tool board. So what's, this will slide out and this will be where the uh, air pack will be mounted. We're keeping all the air packs out of the cab. The air pack will be mounted here, sliding in, and you'll have access to that. These, this shelf is adjustable. This is a sliding shelf here that comes out with some of our adapters, two and a half inch adapters, four inch adapters, five inch adapters, and so forth. Second compartment here is just it's full depth. We have two layers most of the time. We put our high rise equipment here on the top. Uh, and some hand tools and things on the bottom. Next compartment on the left side. Also, we have two adjustable shelves for different types of equipment. Uh, this large slide out tray will come out. It makes it user friendly for what we usually carry in this is our large positive pressure ventilation fan and our electric fan. Any types of equipment that uh, doesn't need. The rear apparatus. We we'll have the three different hose beds divided up. It will be divided up with our five inch, two and a half inch, and also an inch and three quarter pre-connect off the back. Also in the center, we carry the 24 foot ladder. 14 foot roof ladder, pike poles, attic ladder, and also a compartment here that we use to slide our backboard in. It's where a cord rail is located. Bring it out. <clears throat> Connection. Have this box set up and need power on the fire scene. During, uh, after the fact. 
steps on both sides going up. We also have the, the lights on the back. These lights on the back are also wired to our reverse. When the driver puts the vehicle in reverse, these lights come on to light it up. Coming down the opposite side. Another large compartment here. Uh, this is an adjustable shelf. This is also an adjustable shelf. And this is where we store our SCBA bottles. We run the Scott 5.5s. And also we usually have four SCBA bottles and enough room to carry two O2 oxygen uh, small cylinders. The ladders were on the right side, going down the side, so we didn't have full depth compartment. This particular truck, we do have full depth compartments. It allows us not only to have one tool board, but two tool boards. The tools can be mounted on both sides for easy access. This is what we're going to call our dirty compartment. Uh, dirty compartment, the air packs, there'll be air pack mounted on uh, this side, the air pack mounted on this side. Because as we talked about before, it's a clean cab, all the air packs will be mounted outside of the cab. <coughs> Transverse compartment, represent back to our clean cab. We also, uh, we will have two different sets of flashlights and tools used for fires, flashlights used for medical calls. <clears throat> Those will be mounted here, and also room for turnout gear, whatever the, the firefighter sees fit, whatever works best for them. Cab. As you notice in the cab, there's no air packs in the seats. And then the officer side. For our computer, our MDC computer will be mounted here. Uh, a bank of radio charger will be mounted up top along with uh, thermal imaging cameras. And also, the officer on this side has control of the side ring brake. Here's the camera that I was talking about, the camera on the right side. That way the driver can actually look up and see the right side when he's making the turn. Front bumper, cover. This is where we keep rates in three quarter. Most of the time, it's around 200 feet. Uh, but again, the, where the truck is assigned is a is, they see fit whatever fits their response territory the best. Mars 888 here, also a federal piece of irene and a nice American flag. Real good, real cover. This particular truck's also got the three uh, brown lights across the top. Another thing different on this particular truck is also there's a switch in the cab that when the parking brake is pulled and emergency lights are on, it will lower the power and make them a little bit less bright on the fire scene. That way the brightness of them doesn't blind drivers or the public as they're driving by. And I'd like to, uh, to thank Suffin. I'd like to thank Jerry Stevens and Stevens Fire Equipment for allowing us to to work, uh, they've been great to work with. Uh, anything we need, they fix. Uh, any problems we have, they always find a solution. Thank you so much.